Hi everyone. Good afternoon. It's me sitting in my lounge and I'm talking to Alexa sitting in her garden. And I just wanted to check in with our various parishioners how they're doing. So how's it, how's it going there, Alexa? Oh, it's going really well for me, Glenn, I have to say. I've always been a bit of an urban peasant, so I, I like the cooking and the sewing and the gardening and the making bread and all those sorts of things. Um, and I've been, um, I have been making a few things. Oh, you mentioned in last week the, of the Christmas angels, which nobody's got in touch with me yet, so I think maybe somebody might like to when they see another photograph. I mean, these, oh, these are two of them. This one is, um, has blue wing, very pretty. And the other one that I've got here, it has pink wings and they're fluffy wings, which is what angels should have, of course. And now they've become, they were Christmas angels, they've become those isolation angels now, I think. <laughs> and the other thing I've been sewing uh, for my flatmate and my um, one for my sister, actually, is masks. So this is my flash Japanese fabric mask. And I've decided not to bother with the dog or the cat yet. Who knows? When we get desperate, I might turn to sew for the as well. <laughs> Uh, so basically, life is not too bad for me, but I realise for many people, and I have a flatmate and I have this animal, so if you're totally alone, it gets pretty tough. And uh, all I can say is um, stay calm and enjoy the good things, which of which there are many. We are very fortunate. But um, And one of the good things in life, of course, is eating. So I have been, been doing a bit of baking. And I was going to say to people, I know Alan Hayward said to me there's a bit of a shortage of flour, but apparently flour is returning to the scene. And if you don't want to turn on the oven, because I've now decided to save power as well, just in case. So I'm not saving it in a savings bank. <laughs> uh, you can make scones, of course, on top of the stove. You don't have to make them in the oven. And these, this is treacle scones. You want to see that from one of my books. And that's a very good Scottish-Irish tradition of mixing up a scone dough and cooking it on top on a fry pan on top of the stove, or a griddle, they would call it in Ireland and a girdle in Scotland and a bake stone in Wales. These are just a, a nice top of the solid fuel cooker it would have been at one Alexa, time. And you make Alexa, extraordinary scones. I've got to tell you, the, the, uh, my daughters the other day made um, ginger kisses. Oh, went, ginger kisses are fantastic. They went very quickly, very <laughs> quickly indeed. <laughs> and they're much nicer than what you get in the, in the supermarket. I mean, those ginger kisses you make too big, I reckon. But anything ginger is good. As you know, Glenn, you're an expert gingerbread maker these days. <laughs> yeah. And hey, I just well, got a text from someone. In, yeah, I just, I just got a text from someone in Wellington, uh, Paul Schrader, who runs a restaurant down there, who stayed in my cottage for a while at one time. And he said he was just making ginger crunch and he thought of me. So, I, and, oh, nice. uh, so ginger crunch is another good thing <laughs> if you want to do some baking in this strange times we're living in. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you, Alexa. And thank you. Uh, lovely to see the boat. Reminding us of, of your uh, late husband Malcolm in the background yeah. and your flowers. And there was a two yeah. of you above before who sort of did something naughty and it's gone off. I know, basically, I was sitting here and I got covered. Anyway, luckily, Glenn re um, stood back for a while until I cleaned myself up. But, <laughs> <laughs> but we love the two We don't mind. They can do whatever they love. It's fine. They're enjoying Thanks. this time, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Alexa. Hi to everybody. Bye.